Hi there Capricorn, I'm Jennifer Angel and this is an overview of your stars for 2011. Your annual new moon is in your sign January the 4th and it is also eclipse energy. It is an amazing time in your chart which can provide the catalyst to move your life ahead in leaps and bounds. For business, there's stability in a way that the foundations you set now will be there well into the future. Family connections on some level are important and this could also mean working with a team environment with your career as well as be directly related to family. Either way, it's a very strong aspect this year. Empowerment Day, January the 4th. On this day, magic can truly happen and as a Capricorn, you know how to take the reins and steer the chariot of life in the direction of your dreams. So this is a time to keep that in mind. Your Power Months. January and February is hot with planetary movement. You can expect the best to eventuate during this time. June the 10th, Saturn comes back into phase and anything on a business level that has been put aside or perhaps gone a go slow can go ahead now. September and October are also powerful months for business. Um, it's as if you have the golden touch. So anything can and probably will happen this year for you if you want it to. Now your most romantic months. Venus makes love possible early in the year but you may be just too busy with outstanding opportunities to give love the attention that it requires. However, if you are destined to fall in love, it can trip you up in May or July and send you into an exhilarating love spin. In other words, if love is destined to happen, it will happen. Um, fabulous things happening. It's like your ship comes in this year. But, uh, don't forget, come back and listen to the monthly stars.